uh, and your In Blooming Flower Bar. Uh, Jazz, unfortunately, is not with us, but Jazz and I work together as a mama-daughter team. And uh, we've been running Blooming Flower Bar for three years now. We had our anniversary this week. And uh, we hope to be doing this for a while. I knew plants, I work with plants, I'd always garden. My mother was actually a, a nurse, but she, on the side, because she grew up on a farm in Jamaica, she, um, she did gardening on the side, she did our church garden, she did, uh, like, at the nursing home, she would, like, lead a program for the seniors where they'd grow crops. And in Kitchener, Waterloo, where I grew up, that's kind of, you know, there are a lot of farmers, so that was really encouraged. And I was the only of the five kids who'd go along. Because <laughs> again, I love plants. And I love, I like hanging out with my mom. Um, when I first started working with flowers, I was in high school. So I got a job in one of those flower shops, you know, the 70s, where it's like all carnations and roses. And that um, allowed me to learn everything there is about caring for flowers, caring for flowers which is the most important thing. Um, I am one of those people who just likes to work, so I didn't just like doing any of that. I found, found it fun. The, my favorite part about working in the flower shop was back then stores weren't open on Sundays, so I was there to take flowers home. On Saturday night, whatever they didn't think would last until Monday, I would I get it, and I'd like to bring all these flowers home. So I was always surrounded with flowers, and I just I couldn't get enough. You know, while I was at home with my kids, I would help people with the gardens, and I had a lovely garden myself. So it was just a hobby. And one of the things I did that I always got so many compliments on were my urns. So I would do these really nice planters, and everybody loved the planters. So that's the business I started. It was actually a planter business, but once I'm doing people's planters, then they wanted me to do the gardens. So it just evolved. As a designer, I put, like really I just need a color direction and then I know the flowers, so I do everything else. And people like that, they like that they don't have to think about it too much and what they end up getting is, is pretty. When someone walks in the store for the first time and they're so excited, it's kind of nice. The shops become very popular because it, People call it the happy place. They come in here and they feel a little transformed. Like it's so different than every other space you walk in. Uh, and we sell, it started as a pop-up. So we were just in this front section and it was flowers, just flowers with the little pots. Um, but then um, the restaurant we shared with, they had a breakup of the partnership. So they left and we decided we would take over the whole space. We were selling flowers by the stem, that's why we, I built the flower wall, and that's why the store is called Blooming Flower Bar, because it was like bars of flowers. This particular business, when you're working with people and you see beautiful, like, you know, I see people in every stage of life, so people are sending flowers for, new, for birth, they're sending flowers for death, they're sending flowers for anniversaries, for birthdays, I'm so moved by the cards people write. I'm just carrying them down. <laughs> Thinking about um, just really appreciating someone, um, loving someone, and it, you know, the cards that people write and send to each other, uh, like, I find really moving. It's, I get, feel like I get an insight into people's lives through this particular business. The most rewarding thing is people just entrusting you. Uh, to carry out a duty for them, which is sharing love usually uh, with someone else. That's what people do with flowers. They're sending beautiful thoughts, beautiful messages, along with something to make somebody else happy. They're trying to share something lovely and I feel privileged to be the person who gets to do that for them. Like especially when, for example, um, Someone's like I've had people call. They're in South Africa. Their daughter's here. They want to see their daughter, but they can't. And the one thing they can do is send them flowers. And I feel so good that I can do that for them. I usually have, you know, they talk to you on the phone. They tell you all sorts of things. Um, but the 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 fact that they're so happy when 
their person, their whoever their loved one is gets whatever it is that they're sending along with the, the message, I feel privileged to be the person who gets to share that. You know, this has been an interesting year. The entire three years that this business has been operating has been interesting. We have dealt with change after change after change. And all of it's been good. Like whatever we do seems to work. Uh, right now with, we're in a pandemic. So we've built this online network, um, this online um, website. People buy on the website is lovely. I think the way of the future is online. I think having a presence is great. But what we're planning to do is having a pickup location, share it. I actually think, you know, I came in here sharing and I think it's the way of the future. And I've been saying that ever since I came in. <laughs> they really do make people happy. Like even my drivers uh, are really happy to be delivering flowers. Like this is their favorite thing to deliver because everybody's happy when you bring them.